Hi, welcome to Pico Technology. My name is Barnaby Donoghue, and today I'm going to take you through the guided test for a common rail diesel piezo injector, specifically the circuit current. Now this test comes with a big fat warning, and that is never disconnect a piezo injector with the engine running. The reason being is there is a signal from the ECU to open injector, and there's another signal to close the injector. If you disconnect it, between those two signals, then the injector could remain open, the diesel could continue to pour into the cylinder, and hey presto, you've got a stuffed engine, which we want to avoid. And that of course applies to fitting any breakout leads. If you have to use them, then make sure that they are not gonna disconnect themselves and they're secure whilst you're running any testing. Right, that over, we now want to access the test in Picoscope and run it. I've got Picoscope open here and uh, I've got a scope connected to the laptop using a USB port. Now we go to the automotive menu at the top, we select actuators, then injector diesel, then del uh, piezo current. Once uh, we've done that, we see that Picoscope brings up two things. Firstly, there's the test guidance. So that's the description of the test, how to do it. And then underneath that, in Picoscope itself, there's uh, an example waveform, which shows you what we would expect to see uh, during or after we've run the test. But not only that, uh, we have all the presets, so all the settings that you need to run the test. You don't need to do any configuring. Picoscope's already done it for you. Now that Picoscope's set up, we need to connect up our amps clamp to the oscilloscope. So we've got a low range amp clamp, um, and this one's uh, up to 60 amps on this particular example. We connect that to channel A of the scope. We then, on this particular Clamp, we can select a 20 amp range. Generally, piezo current doesn't go above that. Um, we can zero the clamp to remove any offset, and then we can connect it to our wiring loom. Now, I've used breakout leads here because access is horrendous on this vehicle, and you don't want to watch me remove components to get to the clamp. Um, so that's all set up, we're connected. Now, all we need to do is run the test. So because we might want to um, observe what's happening at the injector during cranking conditions, we start the scope first. Now we start the vehicle. So I can see that I've got the signal that I was expecting to see on Picoscope. I stop the scope. Now I can stop the vehicle. So that looks good. But we can be more precise if we go back to the guided test itself. We can look at the waveform notes that describes the fact that in this case we've got two pilot uh, injections and a main injection. So that's three events um, per 720 degrees per cylinder um, with the piezo injector. And um, that, that all looks good. And uh, we've got positive current that indicates that the, that's the uh, opening events and we've got negative currents and they're the closing events and they are um, amplitudes of plus or minus seven amps. That's all good. Now, you may have another vehicle. Maybe you haven't got one like this. Uh, you can go to the waveform library. On that, we've got waveforms which have been gathered by users from around the world. And you can select your make, model, and engine codes, those types of details, and maybe try and find the waveform that's a more accurate match for your particular vehicle. Uh, maybe you want to understand a bit more about how piezo injectors work, why they need a positive and negative current to operate. Um, and so if you go to the further guidance, you'll see that there is a description of the piezo technology that will explain that. And then at the end, there's also a description of potential faults and the associated symptoms. So we've got electrical faults, um, and then there's uh, mechanical faults, 
And then we've got misfires um, as a potential symptom uh, or non-start condition, uh, conditions, that type of thing. Plus, of course, related to diagnostic trouble codes. That's all in our guided test. So I hope that will get you going on your piezo injector testing journey. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.